This is a really important day for California and a really important day for the country. California is our national leader on combating climate change. We know that here and they know that around the world. But California is behind in taking our values and enshrining them in constitutional rights for the people of our state. In fact, we are four decades behind some of our peers. In fact, the state of New York enshrined those constitutional rights just a few years ago. We care a lot about the communities we have here in California. That is why we have an air resource board. We have air quality management districts. That's why a seven year fight by many of the people behind me established a statutory right to clean, safe, and affordable drinking water. We know who we are. But again, it's not enough just to hold these values. The people of our state deserve to have those values enshrined in our state constitution in perpetuity, a clear and bright shining mark for the rest of the country to follow. This is a crisis decades in the making, and it can be measured in the thousands spent on medical bills, the loved ones lost to rare diseases and chronic illnesses, and the health harms that thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, are living through every single day. We've all been impacted by the climate crisis. It belong, it, it's part of all of our stories. We've all seen the oil fields next to schools, the highways next to houses, the chemical spills into our water, into our beaches. We need ACA 16. We have every single right to a government that protects the planet and protects us. 40 million Californians do not have a fundamental right to clean air, water, and a healthy environment enshrined in our state constitution. This is a glaring gap that leaves our progress vulnerable to potential rollbacks and changes in federal policy. And that is why we are here today standing in strong support of ACA 16, which is seeking to rectify this. Today, I'm lucky to be joined by SCOPE members, including Guadalupe Rivas, who, like many of her neighbors, know too well the health impacts of living near oil drilling sites. Guadalupe and her daughter now deal with chronic issues like asthma, and they've been fighting to end neighborhood oil drilling in their communities for over seven years. But unfortunately, their work is not done. Clean air is a clear-cut human right. It's crucial for staying alive, important for good health, and thriving communities. Guadalupe, her neighbors, and many other across the state need stronger protections and bold leadership to ensure they don't have to continue to suffer from toxic air. In California, we beat our chest as climate champions, as leaders. We do it nationally, we do it globally, but we are behind other states. Our people do not have a fundamental right to clean air, clean water, and a healthy environment. But we can change that, and we're going to change that. Thank you all for coming today.